right. All right, the poetry set. Who's all been to the poetry set before? Make some noise. Yeah. All right, check it out. You're going to see a series of poets come to this mic tonight. The poets who win this round are going to go on to the next round. You must judge the poems on a scale from 0 to 10, with 10 being the highest. Judge the poems on a scale from 0 to 10. Creativity and originality being the prerequisites. Are you ready for your first poem of the evening, Berkeley? Yeah. All right, your first poem coming to the mic tonight. Give lots of love to him because he's a newcomer. Ain't never been here to the starting plot before, so give lots of love to the newcomer, Mr. John Milton. You'll have to forgive me, I've never been to a poetry slam before. You'll have to forgive me if I don't like it. This is a much larger work entitled Paradise Lost. I'm going to recite a brief section of it. It's a poem which I hope will, as I say later in the work, justify the ways of God to man. Of man's first disobedience and of that forbidden fruit whose mortal taste brought death into the world with loss of Eden and all our woe, the one greater man regained the blissful seat. O oh, sing, heavenly muse, that on that sacred top of Oreb or of Sinai didn't inspire that shepherd who first taught the chosen seed in the beginning, and the heavens and earth rose out of chaos. Thank you. Oh, my God! Hold up the score crowd. What we got for John Milton? Yeah! Oh! Oh! We got a 0 0.2, a 0 0.2. Hold that up. 0 0.3 and a high score of 0 0.4. Come on, guys, applaud the poem, not the poem. Give him love. Yeah. yeah, first time now. Give him love. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. All right. Your next poet coming to the mic tonight. You know him, you love him. He is the king of the spoken word. He is the urban street poet extraordinaire. All the way from Walnut Creek. Give it up for CK1. I am your worst nightmare. Beware, are you scared of my tats, of my gats? Do I look too fierce because I'm pierced? Are you worried? Are you in a hurry to scurry away from me as I drink my whiskey and my beer that drowns out the fears of my years? I smoke the magic herb. Are you disturbed? Too bad! Cause when your dad is beating you with a belt the size of a Mack truck, you don't give a fuck. You don't stop to think, should I drink? You don't ask, that's not your task. You just take that flask and pour that whiskey down your throat. And that's your aunt dead. To the poison of the government, to the poison of the church, to the poison of the schools and their rules. <laughs> Don't tell me to tuck my shirt in cause you can't begin to understand me and my words. Are you disturbed? Are you disturbed now with bombs killing moms in Iraq while politicians turn their backs? Are you disturbed at the thought of getting caught or shot or not anything at all? <laughs> Or are you disturbed by me with my booze and my joints and my piercings and my tats? And that's enough for you to say, go away? Fine. Just let me say, today, I am not your problem. I am your worst nightmare. <laughs> Now John Milton, lots of love for CK1 tonight, yeah.